Hey there, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Emily and I do mostly Salesforce tutorials, but I do sprinkle in some related software tutorials. Today, we're going to be going over how to create a vertical stacked bar chart component within a Salesforce dashboard. First things first, we do need to make sure that we can see dashboards in our ribbon up here. I do see it. If you do not, you can go underneath the cloud. There's the three by three and you can search for dashboards, if I can spell, and click on it, it'll take you to the exact same place. Um, either create a new dashboard or go to one of your dashboards, whichever one you are looking to create your component in, and then it'll take you either to create the properties surrounding the new dashboard, like the title and the description and the location. Um, if you bring to you to here, then go ahead and click edit. From here, I'm going to click component and we will be asked to select a report. This is our source report. Um, this is a part of a series that I am doing and so we've created lots of source reports for our dashboard. Um, that'll be the first link down in the description box if you're interested. Um, one thing about your source report for a, a vertical stacked bar chart component is that you need to have at least one grouping. That can be either a column or a row grouping on your source report, but it does need to have one. I'm going to click select. And from here, I'm going to change this um, display component to a stacked vertical bar chart. Now it doesn't really look that stacked. It just looks like a vertical bar chart. I'm gonna change my X axis to be created by and there we go. We can see, because I'm the only one that's created any opportunities in this Salesforce account, then it'll break it down by the company or the account. Um, we could possibly change the Y axis or we could plot along the axis. It'll sh ask you what you want to stack it by. Um, you can change the different display units um, and just go ahead and play around with these settings if you are creating this in a playground or if you are creating in this in your official Salesforce account. Um, you can change the range on the Y axis to either be automatic or custom. I like it on automatic, but if you want to change it to custom and have it where uh, the top was 100, because that's your goal and the bottom would be zero, you can do that. You can sort by created by and then a secondary sort. You can add a custom link, add max group rows. Um, I'm going to change the title of this because it automatically displays the title as the source report name. Um, and that's not always indicative of what you're trying to visualize. So because I'm choosing to visualize a specific component, that's what I'm gonna name it. And it is a stacked bar chart component. Um, I find it really helpful to do this, especially if you're not the only one that's going to be looking at this, to provide um, a title, a subtitle, a footer, even to help give more context to whomever's going to be viewing your visualizations. Um, you can change the legend position um, from right to bottom. And this really depends on the type of component. Um, I don't think it's gonna look very good <laughs> when I change it to the bottom. So I'm going to keep it to the right just because it looks a lot cleaner to me. Um, but you may have a different opinion. You can either have this light is what it defaults to or change it to dark. I'm gonna keep it on light, click add. And then I'm gonna move it next to the other component it's just a drag and move over, click save, and then done. And it'll take us to be able to view the dashboards. With all the component, um, you can hit refresh, especially if you have data come in throughout the day, you can refresh this and you'll be able to see the updated data. It does not update automatically when you um, log into the dashboard like it would with a report. So it is important to refresh the data. And over here, it'll tell you, um, 
as of what day, and there will be a little caution sign uh, if it's been a while. You can hit edit, subscribe, download, save as, new dashboard, or delete. At the very bottom of the component, you can hit view report. And it'll take you to the source report, and it can be really helpful to get some more details about the different records that are building your visualization or your component. Um, I'm going to hit the back. And there you go. That is how you create a stacked vertical bar chart component within a Salesforce dashboard. Again, this is a part of a series on dashboarding and reports that I'm doing on my channel of probably 50 videos when I'll be done. So if you are interested in that, it'll be the first link in the description down below. Um, like if you found this helpful, helps out my channel and subscribe if you want more content like this. And I will catch you in the next one.